So we've had the interest rate rise. Yes, there's a lot of pressure in the market. Yes, there's a huge problem with cost of living. But what does it all mean for the property market? What does it mean for the mortgage market? What does it mean for people that are looking to buy or are on a mortgage right now? And what's going to happen in the future, certainly in the next this year and next year with everything? So let's talk about it. Hello, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Hope you're all well. Well, we've had the interest rate rise, and guess what? I'm actually going to record this before the interest rate rise. That's how confident I am. Um, I think we're going to have a half a percent rise, and I think it's confirmed uh, by now. Um, so, what does that mean? Well, it means everybody's got to get hit. You know, the homeowners who are the, those people who've got mortgages, and those people that don't have mortgages and are looking for mortgages are going to pay the price now. What does that really mean? Well, it means that basically it's not going to be a huge amount. It's half a percent. However, um, you know, you add that on to the uncertainty. And what's happening is the lenders are actually pricing, not the interest rate rise. They probably had that in their pricing a couple of months ago. OK, I know I was speaking to some of the lenders and they were going, we think there's going to be a half a percent rise in August. So they knew that. Right. So they were pricing for that. The problem is, is they don't know what's going to happen. OK, so they've hiked their prices and we've seen prices rise, uh, the, the mortgages rise. You know, if you came to me about a year and a half ago, I would have got you a five year fixed up under one percent, under one percent on a residential mortgage. You're now thinking of an interest rate rise It's probably going to be about two and a half, three percent now. So uh, with someone for 60 percent deposit, these are people that have got big deposits. And those are the people that have been hammered, I think. Um, so we've got this and we've got the, you know, we've got the other rises coming in terms of, you know, fuel costs in October. Um, it would have had to happen. I mean, I've been banging on about interest rate rises for the last two years. I've, I've done videos. If you go through my cat catalogue of videos, I've been talking about there must be an interest rate raise, rise. There's going to be interest rate rise. And they've held out. And the problem is because they've held out. And there are reasons why they've held out because the pandemic, the economy has been weak. There's all sorts of problems with, you know, prices however because they've done so and don't forget we've been printing money everybody's been printing money so what's happened now is they're, they're having to raise interest rates quite quickly and they probably have to raise them higher than they wanted to originally so I do see other interest rates rising I think there's probably going to be 0 0.25 coming at the end of the year and I think we're going to get at least two more interest rate rises next year so whether they're half a percent of 0 0.25 maybe maybe three interest rate rises but I don't think it's the end of it um, so the, the, the problem that we've got is obviously then there's our pricing for uncertainty not necessarily certainty so if they knew where it was going to end up you'll probably get stabilized pricing you'll probably get cheaper pricing but at the moment they're playing musical chairs and nobody wants to be the cheapest out there as soon as they are they get flooded with loads of business and that's the same for residential and buy to let so what they're trying to do is now tweak criteria what's happened with all the interest rate rises and the new products and things being more expensive is those affordability rules are, are, are under pressure so that you know four and a half times income good luck getting something in central london four and a half times income so now lenders have started pushing that along you're going to see more and more lenders pushing things along uh, you know going five five and a half times maybe six times maybe different types of we've already seen tweaks of it you know if you're a professional if you're a doctor as accountant solicitor uh, you can get up to five and a half times in certain uh, certain industries uh, we've seen um, you know for nurses and teachers and stuff like that there are special schemes where you can borrow a little bit more but that's not really mainstream and I think uh, something needs to be done with the lenders to get the affordability sorted out. It's all great saying interest rates have gone up. Oh, by the way, your bills are going to double. But what's going to happen to people's affordabilities when it comes to getting a mortgage? If that's not addressed, then yes, probably people up north can afford it. Okay, but when you're looking at the south, uh, where you know the bulk of the the prices are in terms of the the cost, you know you're you're going to get people struggling. And of course, what you've got now is um, you've got. There's the good things and the bad things, right? So I've got people that say, right, yeah, I think the property price is going to cool down. Probably they'll cool down. However, you're not going to get that crash. I don't believe that you're going to get that crash because they, we're, you know, it's a supply and demand situation. At the moment, every property in, in, in around the south, when it's going on the market, there's probably about 30 people who are looking to buy it. And you're getting these properties that are going over the asking price. I know we've got 
many, many clients are going for properties and they're losing out to bids that are over the asking price. So what's going to happen is those over the asking prices are going to probably go away. You're going to get probably more properties come onto the market. You will get some reduction of properties because people were just trying it on and putting their properties up. So you're going to get all of that, right? But you're not going to get, but you're still going to have those people committed to buy. And I'll tell you why. Right now, yes, everything's got more expensive, but people have still got jobs. People have still got, still got relatively good incomes. If you look at the incomes now to the last crash, the incomes have actually gone up quite a lot. So they've got the incomes. The uncertainty is all of these rises in interest rates and slowing things down, is it going to hit the wider economy? Are we going to find ourselves in a recession? If we find ourselves in a recession, is the job market then going to be affected? So are you then going to be worried about losing your job? Because once that kicks in, right now, people are not worried about that, okay? We've got quite a stable sort of uh, job market. But as soon as you've got one eye on your job going, then you stop spending. Then you start thinking, well, do you know what? I better downsize. I better not take that risk. I better not buy that property for another 50K that I was going to do. Or oh, what about the stamp duty? What about this? You start thinking about things, right? And I think we're not there yet. I think it will affect things. And that is ultimately what's going to slow the market down. Not, you know, tax, not um, uh, in terms of interest rates, not in terms of you know utility bills things going up i think people are still committed because you've got your job you've got your income when the market starts getting affected then you're going to see a lot more sales there are a lot of people that don't need to sell right now they're just sitting tidy okay when there's a time that they need to sell that's when you see prices come down i don't think it's going to be a crash i just think there's going to be bit more and better properties in the market for those people that are looking to buy. If you're looking to remortgage, this is the time to get in touch with the mortgage broker, and work out a plan, whether you're coming out in the next three months, six months, 12 months, what are you gonna do? Is it worth you start reducing your mortgage down now? Is it worth using your 10% overpayment? These are things that you have gotta think about. This channel is all about giving you that information so you are better informed uh, for the future. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the property prices. Let me know what you think about the economy. Let me know what you think about the interest rate rise. Let me know what you think there's going to be more rises coming, where we're going to end up with all of this. I'd love to get your opinions. Leave a comment and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. All the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.